Welcome to Seat Time, where we drink beer and talk about all the happenings with motorcycles. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Seat Time. This is episode 34, and I'm a Muppet. It's yes. actually Brian Pierce, but it'll work. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Jason Schmidt. Hi, Jason Schmidt. I like talking to you. I, I like it, too. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, uh, starting out as usual, jumping into the weekends. What'd um, you do? Uh, my, the girlfriend came up from Austin, and so, stop it. Okay. Uh, hung out at my place Friday night, and then Saturday, just random lounge around the spot type of deals. Her sister came down from OKC, and we all just hung out, had a good time. Sunday. Is she, she like, slower than the rest of us since she's from Oklahoma City? She isn't from Oklahoma City. I mean, but has it deteriorated part of her? Yeah. To- I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. From time to time, she said that I like. What does that big word mean? And so <laughs> I really think um, that being in OKC has like totally sucked the slowed smart. her down a bit. Yeah, it's just like tap the brains right out of her. <laughs> but uh, no. Oh, that sounded horrible. Oh yeah. All right. But anyway, yeah. No. Um, <laughs> Jordan's in. <laughs> Stop it. I'm in love. No. Uh, yeah. Sunday actually. Rode a motorcycle. Ah, that's right. That's right. You guys went road. I totally forgot about that. How was it? It was the damnedest thing. Um, It was a dust bowl. Yeah. Texas. Mm. It was the first, actually the first time though I've ever ridden at the pit and not touched the motocross track. Just all trails? All trail the entire time. That place is like Little Sahara right now. It is entirely (laughs) sand. (laughs) Bring your doom buggies, folks. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Uh, I... I didn't have to eat for the rest of the day because I inhaled enough sand to count as like two he meals. Had, he had a dirt sandwich. Uh, I, man, it was one of those where I'd get up close to Kiwi for a bit, then I'd just jump back unless I thought yeah, I was Because you a knew spot. it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, I'm not going to see the trail, and I'm just going to go over the bars here in a second. <laughs> it, it sucked at that part, but... Um, Better if I saw a spot where I could like cut around and jump over and run. That <laughs> and was then, cool. And then dust him out for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the T-stroke doesn't really dust out as consistently as the four-stroke uh, does, yeah. like on every little bit. But yeah, no, it was a good time though. Getting back on the bike, the whole plan was, oh, we'll go out there and ride for like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, we we're both so psyched to be back out there again. I think we rode for like four hours. Nice. Well, that's okay, man. Yeah. I'm glad that you guys got the ride. I've actually been kept up. I'm hoping to be out there with you guys soon. We'll have some fun and we'll ride. Yep, yep. Um, I, myself, my wife is out of town. She is at her youngest sister's 21st birthday in California. And my daughter, as well, was out of town with her grandparents. So I was a free man and decided to go drink till 6 a.m. both nights. I promise that was not on purpose. Uh, both nights, before I went to sleep, I looked at the clock and I was like, is that wrong or is that the channel? Like, on the DVR, and it was the time and not the channel, unfortunately. Mm. So going to bed at 6 a.m., two nights in a row, we'll take it out of you. Uh, but I had a really good fun time. I got to hang out with people that I don't typically get to hang out with. And, excuse me, I got to go to the Katy Trail Ice House um, in Uptown, Jersey River, Dallasite. I think it's a cool place, a little douchey. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I mean, but it is kind of like, I'm sorry? It's uptown. It's uptown. There's just yeah. a little bit of douche all over that place. Oh, yeah. Um, there should be a lot of douche. You know what I'm saying? That place yeah. needs to be cleaned up. Oh, actually, small quick side note. Very Ooh. psyched to find out that the Katy Trail extension. Oh, they're extending it? Yeah. Is going mm-hmm. to, the Katy Trail is going to be extended to run. Uh, like by your house? 30 yard. You know the end of my parking lot? Uh-huh. Yeah, that field right it's there. It's going right by Top Golf, huh? Yeah. Right up through there. Freaking hey, man, that's awesome. All right, yeah. well, if you like going to drink at Katy Trail Ice House and want to get your run on and sweat out some alcohol, you're now going to have more territory to do it because the Katy Trail is obviously being expanded. Go team. Yeah. Um, Sunday night was Brick House in Plano. So that is a very Saturday. good place. You could Saturday. Saturday night. And Jordan was there. It was a very, very fun time. <laughs> I got the sneezies. Oh, my God. Um, and that was fun. You can get, like, uh, what was it, like, Towers of Beer? Or they, they call it Bongs of Beer, but that's kind of dumb. I call it a tower of beer. It was a good time. So those are two places I recommend. Sunday, I did not go ride a motorcycle. I actually stayed on the couch both days. Yeah. I was going to say, you probably didn't. Oh, I remember you sent me a text on Saturday at like 2.30. I just woke up. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We yep. won't get into what my responses were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember. Yeah. But the cool <laughs> thing is, is that we did have a lot of racing to watch, which was good for me because I was couch surfing the whole day. So I had all kinds of racing on Sunday. Tons of racer TV stuff on Sunday, or 
racing on Saturday and racer TV stuff on Sunday for me to watch. It yeah. was there was a lot of good stuff going on. So motocross, what did we have? What yep. was the big deal? At the final round of the Lucas or Lucas Oil. Earl? Lucas or I'm from Louisiana. It's the Earl. Yes, you are. Don't make fun of it too much. Can't help it. Yeah, you're shockingly. We all thought he grew up in Arkansas. No, uh, round twelve at Pala Raceway, the uh, final round of Lucas Oil Outdoor Motocross. It, <laughs> See how slow he was to catch that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good God. Shots across the bow, and like, well, it just kind of lends itself to it's the like, whole conversation. Jump punch! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I expected to get like an angry text tomorrow, like, hey, damn it. <laughs> My brain just caught me. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's on the way. Oh, yeah, exactly. Jerk face. <laughs> I was cool enough this time to actually turn off the ringer on my phone. <laughs> oh, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're a professional. Yeah. No, um, Ish. just the overall impressions. I know you had some on the track itself. Oh, actually, yes. Um, I thought, I, I really actually enjoyed watching them racing on the Palo, Ra- uh, Palo Raceway. There was the video of Reed from Press Day. Very impressive. Oh, Super God. fast. And you were just like, oh, my gosh. But... The outside footage, like the, the the wider shots, I just didn't like that the fact the track looked so man made. That is obviously a stupid little minor thing, but it's just when they it's, got really wide, I was just like, it's Southern California. Somebody had some land. Granted, it's a cool looking course with some big ass jumps, but that was just kind of my thing. Is I was like, it looks so man made. There's no foliage or anything, you know. Just, yeah, the track so. itself. I, there's no getting around the fact that it isn't the most intriguing one of the tracks that we yeah. watch throughout the series. It still has so many of them. Yeah. Because it's so young. Yeah, I guess it's so new. Is. Over the years, I'm sure it'll mature and it, there'll be a lot more draw to it. But, man, almost every other track they run on throughout the series, I watch it and I want to I wanna take my hack ass out there to case some jumps. Yeah. And the, but you, you this one, I watched it. Those jumps. Oh, yeah. This one, I watched Should it and I'm just like, <laughs> meh. Yeah. yeah. But... So that was my small little point about die. the track. But we had we had a lot of good things going in because of the fact that Villapoto being 14 points up. Good cushion going in over Ryan Dungey. Dungey had to perform, and Villapoto kind of had to screw up to really lose the championship, I think, at that point. So yeah. that's kind of what sets the stage at this point, what I thought. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get into the 250s. Okay. Um, it was one of those where there wasn't a whole lot of intrigue because Wilson already had it wrapped Stuff up. Stuff had already been won. <laughs> yeah, Wilson already had it wrapped up, but, um, well... Unwittingly, the Pro Circuit Kawasaki team did bring up the more talked about events and kind of the, unfortunately, the drama from yeah, the weekend. Yeah, that was a little interesting. Yeah, um, it, it was a good weekend weekend for Wilson, though, because, I mean, it kind of capped off. It it showed why he won having yep. such a strong weekend. And he went uh, 1-1. I mean, that, and he got the whole shot in the first moto. So yeah, it's and like, he also looked like a straight-up baller going through the uh, that one section. The, um... um yeah, God, I was pulled the rhythm section. Yeah, I yeah, was pulling rhythm. my chin off the floor. I could when he, the first time he did that, I yeah. was screaming the exact same time Jeff Emig was. I was like, "No way!" Because yeah. impressive. Yeah, it was I mean, it just an awesome feat, and it, it showed he kind of looked like a man among boys at oh, that point, which absolutely. actually he's kind of a boy yeah. among men. And still can't get used to the strange he Scottish tries, Canadian like he's kind accent. Of trying to figure out how to speak still. Yeah, it's, he doesn't say anything like that, but you know, it'd be but different. It, it's it's different. You can't get around yeah. the fact it's different. But no, um, unfortunately, well, between end, yeah, between fun. Moto One and Moto Two, between uh, Wilson and his teammate Baggett, his pro circuit Kawasaki under the tent of Mitch Payton. He doesn't teammate. take that kind of crap yeah. from anybody. Tent. Yeah, um, Baggett apparently being upset, saying how Wilson was cross jumping over and from. Yeah, rah, rah, rah. there's and man, that's just trying to keep this fairly clean that just kind of maybe it was stuff that wasn't you didn't see on the coverage things like that but it just kind of struck me as crap it seemed like someone that was frustrated yeah which um you know what I, Baggett has more talent in his pinky toenail than I have in my entire body or pinky will ever toenail. have but man if if you really want to stand out and not have to deal with that Man, how about not run through the entire field catching up every race? Yeah, I mean that's a good point. It's I mean, back. It's an awesome rider, but I, as evident by the fact that he can work up in every damn race. Yeah. But man, it just kind of lended to his 
that, there's something about Baggett that I don't really dig. I mean, it's not like Wilson's my favorite writer on the face of the earth, but... He does hang out with Chad Reed now. Yeah, I know, and that made him a little bit more endeared <laughs> to me. I, I agree, though, like, with what you're saying about Baggett. I think it's one of those deals that it's like, come on, Baggett, like, sure... Your whole career, you your whole amateur career, you've talked about Dean Wilson cross jumping in front of you and stuff like that. Well, if that's the case, if if you know that he does that and that upsets you, get in front of him. Yeah. Just don't. I mean, and I understand yeah. where we're coming from that that is tougher than it sounds. But yeah. then there's your problem. Get in roses front of him, are red, violets are blue. Get a good start. There it is. So yeah. I wrote you a poem. That was some. That was some drama. It was unfortunate that they had to go to that. And Mitch Payton, it looked like literally had to be like, get on this mule, and I'm gonna calm you two down because this is this is not happening. And it's just it's very unfortunate because that is the premier team. You want that's the yeah. team everybody grows up on to be on. So oh yeah, absolutely. But, so who knows what was going on there? So what happened in the second one, my friend? Uh well um. Kyle Peters actually showed up. Yeah. Yeah. This guy they've been talking about like since Loretta's and it was like awesome Kyle Peters and Justin Bogle yeah. are going to come out you know one of them's on Yamaha one of them's on a Honda Let's see what's going to be young. well we've seen Justin Bogle yeah. every race since yeah. Loretta Lynn's and Kyle Peters we've he's, finally heard his name. So. He's been a badass out there yeah. but no it was cool I mean you've got to got to get your head around the fact there there would be a learning curve. I mean, you have uh. to be an <laughs> ultimate badass to just like, oh, oh, yeah, sure, put me on this bike. Yeah, I'll go out there and run with the big names I watched every weekend. Yeah. But uh, it's just really cool to see him out there. Yeah, Justin Bogle with that whole shot and then the way that he held himself in the in the first, you know, what, about half before Wilson passed him? Yeah. Spectacular job. Yeah, but also uh, Marvin Busquin. <laughs> Marvin Busquin. And uh, Rattray also had a very nice showing I for the weekend. Yeah, they did pretty good, man. It's going to be but, awesome. Yeah, the overall championship ended up working down. Still, Pro Circuit Kawasaki has nothing but what a happy, fun time. Hell of a clean, clean sweep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first, second, and third. I'll be damned. Yeah. Green bikes should sell well. Uh, Wilson first, Rattray in second, and Baggett in third. Yeah, Mr. Baggett in third. Yep. Um, on to the 450s. Yeah. Which actually we'll have quite a bit to talk about on this side as well with the stuff that happened afterwards with the signings and not signings. Yeah, or let, I guess no that's not really signs. a. I guess that isn't really a term. But uh, <laughs> Moto One, Alessi came I don't out do with language. the yeah. <laughs> Damn you, English. <laughs> no, uh, Alessi got the whole shot and as usual was reeled in. Yeah, but I, I he's mean, still I. All the drama for the 450s was going to be between the two Ryans, even though Villapoto pretty much... I mean, unless he had a mechanical or balled up and couldn't finish, he was pretty much assured to... Yeah, I, I'm with title. you on that one for sure. That You know, it was it was Villapoto's title to lose at that point. 14 points, he's a cushion, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's that's a pretty darn good cushion, so... Yeah. But that first race was nerve-wracking, man. It was so awesome to watch. I mean, it was like back and forth, back and forth, mm-hmm. awesome passes, awesome mistakes. I mean, it was just so much fun to watch. White-knuckled. I mean, I was just sitting there like, even though I really, in my heart of hearts, kind of thought Villapoto's got it. Dungey's just racing for pride at this point. You know, yeah. I was still like... <sighs> yeah, no. Um, Barsha actually got himself up in the mix again. And yeah, yeah, he's going to be... Yeah. He's going to be a yeah. force next year. I, uh, I, it was funny because the wild child Barsha and like Reed and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. I know that it, the talks is that Barsha is not going to be on a 450 next year, that he's going to go back to a 250 and all that thing. I was like, that kid would be such a good addition to the T, to the 22 motorsports. Yeah. I just, man, big picture, I don't know what kind of budget he has to work with. No, no, I, I agree. Yeah. That, like, I mean, because there are so many people that I've watched. If you like, want attitude, ooh, wow, like, that'd be badass. But I don't know. And the one thing though is, how is he so much more consistent on a four fifty than he was a two fifty? I have no idea. Maybe it's just because he revs that two fifty out like a song. Oh yeah, because that's the thing. He was like Captain Rev Limiter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit was pinging off. This the bird just throwing up. What was that? Yeah, I was gonna that say was he just like. Did you just choke your chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Don't judge me on camera. A toucan crawled out of your throat. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Yeah, you better uh, eat your Fruit Loops. Uh, but uh, the Ginger Ninja won. Um, Dungey got second. Yeah. And it uh, it just pretty much wrote itself in at that point. Yeah, that, that was uh, quite the solidifying <laughs> yeah, <laughs> point. The, the Ginger Ninja was going to have it. And Moto2, you had when you watched it, did you think of me that I had to be happy? 
I thought so because we got Reed with the whole shot, right? Exactly. I mean, like he yeah. like, he was trying to go for it motor one, but went down because yeah. of Barsha. <laughs> yeah, maybe he maybe he won't sign Barsha. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but I was like, yeah, no, he was gonna go junk punch Barsha. <laughs> he was like, you trying to embarrass me on Here's TV? Here's your contract. <laughs> Here's your contract. Only if I can paper cut you with it. Yeah, fifty Ooh, times on your dingus Barsha Wingle. Yeah, no, but yes, the man, the legend. The guy with two two on his bike. Yeah, the harness or of awesomeness. Chad Reed got the whole shot, and actually, I was so happy to see him lead. I, the pessimist in me thought, man, they're gonna reel him in, and they did. Yeah. I my whole thing was I just wanted him on the podium. Yeah, to like kind of like tap I, it I off. didn't care. I didn't care if it was third, but I mean, after everything he did this year, forming his own team, all of it, I just wanted him on the damn podium. Yeah, and that I have to admit that was that was a disappointment for me. But man, he's still awesome year. Oh yeah, it's 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 gonna be very very interesting to see if Chad Reed can recoup, come back next year. Sounds like he's probably gonna have some form of another rider. And if two two motorsports can kind of capitalize and continue to grow yeah. and gain foothold in yeah. the industry, opposed to just being a very high fluted privateer team, yeah, very high fluted. Yeah. No, but uh, Dungey came out strong. I mean, oh gosh, yeah, man, that guy was riding the race. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Because was a uh, Barsha uh, really ran with it for a while. Well, Reed rode with it for a while, then Barsha rode with it for a while, and then, then Dungey Reed got had, it, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah, Dungey had to fetch them both. Um. And Villapoto, it pretty much with that uh, right there. Yeah, yeah, I mean at that point, all Villapoto had to do was keep him in sight. He just, he mm-hmm. just don't fall over and keep keep Dungey in sight. Yeah, his whole thing is it's like, okay, I'm still on two wheels. I'm going to cross the finish yeah. line. This is I'm my going to win. win. Yes, I'm going to win the outdoor title. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, props to him. Ah, uh, good job this year. Heck I mean, yeah, dude! What? 2011 Supercross and Motocross champion. Yeah, that's. I mean, he. Can't take did that away. Dungeon, yeah. <laughs> did what Dungey did last year. Good point. Yeah. And, yep, you're right. And, and uh, we do the know that Kawasaki's is, are going to sell now. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. But uh, especially with all the with that new 450 that's out. With oh, the, yeah. It's, I mean, it, it sounds great. <laughs> it loads itself in the truck. It starts and does all that stuff for you. Oh, apparently. my gosh. It comes with a truck? Yeah. Well, no. It, it learns yours and jumps into the back of it. And oh. Stuff. Uh, just the different things. So I don't have know. snapper training in? <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe I misinterpreted those commercials. But, but I don't know. Jeff Emmons doing a good job selling them. Oh, yeah. No, the one thing that I was happy to see, though, is that even um, even with all the big name competition back, how well Dungey did. For all the people last year that were kind of... said, you did yeah. You won because these you people won were won because out. none of the big names were there. He was able to pull it in this year and... Did damn well. Absolutely, so, I was. I'm was super excited. And uh, if if there's rumors, if we don't know who's going where and all that stuff, and Dungey, obviously we know Dungey's not going to Suzuki at this point. Um, yep. That's official, but we don't know officially where he's going at this point. But I you mean, have if he to think. The Coster on yeah, KTM, you have to think KTM. You know that I, I it, I've heard people talk all kinds of stupid stuff about how that's a bad move. I don't see I don't. how it could be a bad move, but I'm not a wizard. When it comes to an engine, so mm. no, I'm sh- I if I had to bet anything, I would say Dungey to KTM yeah. just because the familiarity and the comfort with DeCoster, the fact that I mean I I wouldn't. It's not like Alessi did horribly, but I couldn't see them being too terribly happy with him. I oh no, he's not coming back. Yeah, so yeah. he's not. On, no, he they yeah. signed they signed short, oh, and then right. there's another spot. There's an open so slot. We know so. Alessi's not going back to KT. Well, at least to the main mm. KTM team, and then yeah, uh, there's an open spot. Yeah, so some open money. Yeah, but first place Filippoto, second place Dungey, and Reed in third for yeah. the year. Yeah, you. Yeah. No, All well, right. that wasn't the only racing going on. Yeah, okay, so congratulations, Ryan Villapoto, on your championships <laughs> this year. That's a very good job, Supercross and Motocross. Um, there are some still guys in the, in the off-road scene, the GNCCs, that are fighting for championships. Um, and our current points leader, Josh Strang, who, uh, and then we had his uh, second place in points, Charlie Mullins, they were going into Unadilla this weekend. They were really going to figure out, battle it out. Unfortunately, Josh Strang got into a first lap pileup well, more of a first lap crash with Corey Buttrick. And it sounds like um, off of one of the really big tables, I want to say it was the Sky Coaster, but I'm not 100% on that, yeah. that he landed on Corey Buttrick. And unfortunately, bit his sprocket, 
and messed up his bike a little bit. And but the, the bad news on that obviously is Corey Butcher getting landed on. Um, yeah. And that it knocked Corey Butcher out, messed him up pretty bad. Um, and the only news that I got at the moment is that he made it to the hospital, and on the way to the hospital, he became conscious, and they really kind of s- stabilized him. Yeah. So um, there wasn't really any release on how bad he is, but that it's not horrible. I mean, so prayers out to Corey Butcher for sure, and it sucked yeah. for Josh Strang because of the fact that Bent Sprocket, he literally had to grab a bicycle, ride back to the pits, grabbed new parts, rode back to his motorcycle, put them on, and kept going like three laps down at that point. Which like, is actually pretty that's, awesome. That's determination. Yeah. There's no giving up when it comes to that kind of stuff. You don't see that in motocross. <laughs> no. 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 That, that's not the way it actually happens there. But I mean, it it kind of speaks to the mindset of outdoor versus... Yeah, off-road yeah. versus uh, yeah. closed course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, it was, it was pretty nuts. So in all of that going on, Charlie Mullins... And Caleb Russell were out front. Um, Caleb Russell actually did have a lead for a little bit over Charlie Mullins, and he knew he's like, oh my gosh, I have to stay in front of this guy because if not, he's going to walk away from me. And unfortunately, that's what happened. Caleb Russell said he came up with some bunch of arm pump. Charlie Mullins got around him, and from that point, as Charlie Mullins says, he had a boring race. Mm. And I'm like, hmm, that's wow. a dicky way to put it. That's what? terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, so there it is. That's what he said. I had a. It was a boring race. So, um. Well, first place, Mullins. Second place, Russell. Uh, Caleb Russell. And third place, Paul Wibley. Paul Wibley actually got the whole shot, and then Russell and Mullins and a couple other guys got around him, but that's where they wound up at the end. So congratulations to those guys. We had XC2 as well. Whole shot went to Jason Thomas, and Jason Thomas on his Husqvarna looked like he was going to go away with the win. Last technical hill climb, if you will, where they kind of had like a technical go this way if you're a badass and mm-hmm. go this way if you don't want to be one. Thomas went for the bad A position. Got caught up with a lapper, and then uh, Jacob uh, Ashburn decided, I'm going to go around. Mm-hmm. Boom. Made the pass. Got the win. Couldn't catch him during the day, but what did he do? He made the smart, consistent decision. Mm-hmm. Thomas didn't. Boom. So he comes away with the win. So we got Ashburn in first, Jason Thomas in second, and Andrew DeLong in third. Andrew DeLong. Guy's coming up, man. He made it. He was on the ISDE team for the uh, world, the junior trophy team. Uh, he's been doing really, really good in the National Enduro. It's kind of his first real uh, attempt at, at going for some stuff. Top 10. Mm-hmm. Looking for a lot from this guy. So it's going to be good for uh, for for DeLong, I, I think. Good deal. Well, a little bit closer to home, LACC had their next round rollout. Uh, in the XC1, the whole shot went to Jake Haddix. But our buddy Cheyenne Harmon, um, local boy from around here, Basically, Boom. is acting like an advertisement for Honda 450s. Yeah, because he hammer has out. been dropped. <laughs> yeah, he has been consistent as it gets ever since he's gotten on that bike. Uh, he overall the Jim Bowie two this weekend, and which this one was out in Sicily Island, Louisiana. Louisiana. Uh, the course wasn't too dusty from the sounds of it because they've been receiving a little bit of rain, which that would confuse and frighten us yeah. here <laughs> in the I'm North Texas drive. area. Um, yeah, what's rain? Yeah, um, let's see here. Bubba Henry, that is definitely a Louisiana racer's yeah. name. What up? <laughs> and Andy. Baby. 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 I want to talk to that guy on the phone just to see yeah, if he talks I, like we do. Yeah, I, I seriously doubt it. Uh, rounded out the Louisiana podium. Uh, he'll actually probably talk to us and make us feel stupid. You'll be like, what is it, Schmazot? What's your last name? Yeah. Jerk face? <laughs> yeah. Like, sure. Be like, hey, a <laughs> hole. <laughs> My name's Beeb. <laughs> no, uh, I like a baby. No, but this is a lot more fun. Maybe. In the XC2 class, yeah, uh, this is and, a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Evan Show's got the win over uh, Jason Rain and Clint Woods, and their next race for the series isn't until October. So, if you wanted to make it out to something, this is a good chance. That way, you can plan, get your plans together, get set up so you can make it out there. Um, the little bit of racing that I've done in Louisiana it, and it's a pretty cool scene so yeah no the piney woods they've got and everything the terrain yeah. is really really fun never not really I'm, crazy sandy there's a crazy bunch of roots but the trees are piney wood they can get tight but you know I mean that's just where you learn a man up and be awesome yeah cut your bars down go out there and have a yeah. good time 30 inches baby it sounds long it's not it's different when it's bars yeah okay so 
One of the things that's coming up this weekend is the Motocross of Nations, the Motocross des Nations. It is in France. It's uh, Saint Jean d'Angelé, maybe? See. Si. Um, that's my French for you. I have no idea if that's right or not. Jordan might know later on when he looks it up off of Google Translation. Um, but, so we have. <laughs> that is not French! Damn it. Um, we have Ryan Villapoto, Ryan Dungey, and we have Blake Baggett for the US of A going to the Motocross of Nations. They are under the hood of Roger DeCoster. So that's pretty cool. We got Suzuki, Kawasaki, uh, another Kawasaki rider. Uh, but all the pro circuit guys are going. Yeah. We got uh, Blake Baggett, Dean Wilson. Uh, Bra- mm-hmm. Okay, Brock Tickle's not going, but yeah. he had a bad motocross. Tickle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it always amuses uh, Jordan. Uh, uh, and yeah, I had two points true. on this. Number one, spaghetti. Right? Right? Oh. That's Italian. That's like Italian, oh, right? Damn it. I'm not very good at this. No, Your but, points uh, suck. Cigarettes. <laughs> Yes. Oh my! Ah, you got wait a minute, right, dude. Wait, I've got it. Ha ha! See, wee wee. I got it. No, uh, everyone's all the guys that are headed out there have been blowing up Twitter today, talking about how oh yeah, getting loaded up, I'm gonna head out for their flight, and uh, Wilson's been on there talking about it because he's actually going on the UK team. Uh yeah, because he's from Scotland, so he's yeah. technically a Scottish national or whatever yeah. they're called. Uh, so he was he's been on there talking about that, I and mean, just lots of people listing up. That they're on their way out, already catching their flight. Hi, I'm on the there. Twitter. Yeah, and uh, nice long flight ahead of them. I can Enjoy only imagine. Yeah, when I went, I went to France earlier this year. That was like an eight-hour flight, I think, and mm-hmm. that was horrible. The one back was worse because it was like twelve, but still. Um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. See what's going to happen. We are the U.S. of A. Boom. We are working toward our seventh consecutive victory. Mm-hmm. So I think that's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. We are gonna. I mean, been the Ryan's. Uh, I mean, it's like, which one of them could win? Because, obviously, this whole year we've seen the fact that they're very close on speed. The tracks over there are much different. Um, they're much more narrow. They're going to be, th- typically, they're going to be a lot, I don't know, this one's a lot more hard-packed. Uh, this is, like, one of the more hard-packed European tracks. So we'll have to see. I mean, it's just, it's you know, everybody comes to the States to do really, really well. So us going over there... We typically have been winning. This is going to be our seventh consecutive win, but yeah, we'll just to see how it goes. But I really think we have a good chance, at least in the 450 category. I think that there are 250 riders that can mm-hmm. uh, beat Blake Baggett, but I think that he can put up a good charge. He just actually has to get out front and not be pissed off because somebody cross jumps him. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's yeah. like, don't race against me. Yeah. You know, that sucks. Whatever you do, don't make this a competition. Yeah, this is going to be way too hard. Yeah, if you this isn't four year old soccer. We don't all get a trophy. Um, closer, oh! closer to home next weekend, we have, uh, uh, well, maybe. It's splitting the difference on what's actually closer. That's true. But uh, it's in closer, Texas. yeah, it's closer to us than normal. Uh, Especially Torx's, than French. France. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Than it's, France. It's a hell of a lot closer than... <laughs> than the French in France. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to ignore what's going on over, like, from this shoulder over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, wait till later. Okay. Now, Torx is actually making a more northern stop for them uh, at Freestone County Raceway, which Jeez. is in Wortham, Texas. You'll know it because of the fact that it was, it's our only Texas outdoor pro race. Yeah, and it's always a good one from what we hear. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, they have a good bit of trails out there, and they incorporate a bit of the track. Yeah, there. there's always a torn out there. There's a, yeah. I, I don't know if they had a TCCRA out there, but I know they have a couple torns. Yeah, they have torn um, races so out there. They're going to have a torque race out there. Everybody's going to go have some fun. Our friend Josh Young, who was uh, up at the torn last weekend, is going to be out at the torques this weekend trying to see if he can get himself another win. Um, some of the other guys, though, are going to be headed more north, and they're going to head to Archer City, Texas, which from Google Maps, if you will, looks like it's about 20, 30 minutes south of Wichita Falls, directly south. Um, and that is going to be round 10 of TCCRA. Um, and that is happening there. We know that Cameron Ishmael has been hitting up a lot of the TCCRAs and Torrens and stuff like that, so I could only imagine that we're going to see some Brian Story action, we're going to see some Caleb Ramsey action, and some yeah. Cameron Ishmael action. Yeah. Well, but, probably more Chris Story than Brian Story, because he's an idiot and went and broke his thumb. That's right. And, uh, when we saw Brian Story last weekend, he was all casted up. He was surprisingly sporting an orange cast. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Brian! Way to not sell out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I went with the neon yellow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they must They got decorated this weekend. I saw That's that. what happens when you sit at a bar with a bunch of drunk people and markers. 
Yeah. yeah. I've noticed that there's very light on obscenities. I'm very Oh, uh, it's because people luckily asked, and I was like, I have a daughter. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, she is five. I don't want to have to explain whatever you're about to draw on there mm-hmm. and why what it is. So yeah, exactly. They were dumb. No, but that's what's coming up next weekend. If you'd like to follow what's going on this week or just basically stalk us on the interweb. I would like that. It would be seattime.co is the website, the URL for the site where all this gets posted and lives. And then on Facebook, it would be facebook.com slash seattime. It's more of a, hmm. yeah, more of a, more of a, more of a backslash. Yeah. But it's okay. Um, seattime. And then if you were to be on the Twitter and you would oh, look yes. for our tweets, then this it would the be seattime underscore CEO. That's where you would find us. Um, I think as well, we sell pint glasses. We like yeah. the fact to enjoy Pintfuls of Awesome. We want you to enjoy Pintfuls of Awesome. So please, mm-hmm. 10 bucks, seattime.bigcartel.com. You can go pick yourself up one. We would love to send it to you. And uh, that's episode 34. Yeah. Wrap it up. Yep, yep. Uh, thanks for tuning in and watching us once again. And as always, enjoy it with a Pintful of Awesome. Pintful of Awesome. Thanks, guys. Peace. Peace. Seed time, bringing in the awesome. Boom! There and you did get Muppet voice. Did I? Yeah. Welcome to Seed Time. I really, I think we're just gonna have to go with the Muppet voice. I don't really know. I'm definitely but not an every, actor. <laughs> every other time you speak, you don't have I mean, like, Muppet voice. Hi, my name is Brian Pierce. Welcome to Seed Time. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> Hello. Turn into FM puke talker. <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. Mm.